We are in a pandemic. This is no time to be sober. In your experience, how many strawberry shortcakes does the average infatuated uh, bar guest consume? Well, like it is a ton of alcohol because it is a martini, but um, usually like if you're really into it, one at three, probably three. Oh my God. They are that really sounds good. like a great night. <laughs> They're really good. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, a strawberry shortcake. Uh, and just, just so I understand, Strawberry shortcake is different from My Little Pony, so this is not a friendship is magic type drink? It actually makes friendship magic every time someone drinks one, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to correct you on that, actually. <laughs> you seem like the type of bartender that people would just fall in love with instantly, but you don't have a bar, and there you are in your backyard at the foot of the mountain. What have you been doing the last couple of months? Um, well, I can't, I'm not someone that can really just hold still and do nothing. <laughs> so this is like an extrovert's worst nightmare, uh, pandemic. I've been, uh, still bartending, but doing it in a less normal fashion, I suppose. I've been using, uh, mason jars, and so I disinfect these, keep it really clean with, and then, um, make a cocktail of the day, and then I deliver it to your house. Wow. And, and when you say your house, you're actually referring to my house because I have availed myself of your services and your drinks are fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, um, I literally bring them to your house, fully masked and gloved. And I think people dig it too because it's some kind of social interaction. Although I do leave them, usually it depends on the person if they want to see me or not. But um, it is nice to have some kind of human contact with someone, you know? <laughs> Watching you bound up the hill with mason jars full of drinks makes me think, oh, everything's going to be fine. <laughs> I'm giving comfort. <laughs> It'll be <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> so can you give me a shout out to uh, the bar or bars that you will be returning to once uh, the quarantine lifts? Well, everyone knows me from Viva Cantina in Burbank. But um, I am currently at Holiday Inn in Burbank. It's the two highest buildings in Burbank. <laughs> That's where I bartend at. In beautiful downtown Media City, Burbank, you're at the Holiday Inn. Well, when we aren't on lockdown, yes. <laughs> what do you think makes you a good bartender? Um, usually my customers, if you come in again, I'll always remember you. Um, I usually become friends with my regulars and some of them even become like family. So anytime you come see me, I'm always open arms and really excited to see you and I'll know who you are. What is your, the outfit that you wear that gets you the most tips? <laughs> Anything low cut. <laughs> Let's just be real. <laughs> be yeah, yeah it, it works. It works for you. Okay. Well, um, I can't wait to see how this drink is made and uh, be as detailed as possible. All right, so I obviously, when you make a martini, you need ice and because I am making this for myself, I'm gonna use my hands. Um, you can go a couple different ways with this using real strawberries or strawberry puree. I'm gonna use a mix, a strawberry mix on this one because it's a little bit sweeter. So do about a shot of that. two just to make because i'm gonna make two of them i'll make you one even though you can't drink it <laughs> oh thank you um who who is going to be my proxy uh to drink that with you or are you just going to drink them both i'm just going to drink them both <laughs> <laughs> i mean i mean <laughs> we are in a pandemic this is no time to be sober um, <laughs> I, like to, I like to muddle a few real strawberries in here too Remember how in Scooby-Doo, um, the, the culprit would always be angry at those muddling kids? Yes, I do actually. So this is whipped vodka. With this cocktail, you can use whipped vodka or vanilla, but I like whipped because it's a little less sweet. And I'm doing two double shots of this. And I'm not, I usually free pour, but because I'm showing you how to make it, I'm not going to. 
And okay. then one regular shot. And then just to make this a little less sweet and you can taste the alcohol, I also do a regular shot of vodka just by itself. Because martinis are known for being all alcohol, so. <laughs> Oh, okay. And Shana, whipped vodka is just a special flavor of vodka, like yeah, raspberry vodka. vodka. Yeah, like, yeah, same thing, cherry, whatever, cherry. So I went to get whipped cream because I usually use like the canned whipped cream. But apparently in the pandemic, people are hoarding whipped cream. <laughs> so I'm using Cool Whip instead, <laughs> which is not, you know, I wouldn't think would be something that someone would need to hoard. But apparently, Whipped cream's on the list. Yeah, it makes, this is making people crazy. <laughs> you gotta get it, microwave. So then after you put the whipped cream in, you just shake it. And it is really thick, so you have to shake it for a while to do the whipped cream. Wow, it, it, it got to a point where it got so thick that you couldn't hear the ice cubes in it anymore. Right, that's when you know it's done. <laughs> Shaken, not stirred. Oh, look at that. That's, that is an ASMR video right there. <laughs> and then I always like to add garnishes to my drinks so they're more visually appealing. So I like to do a little dollop of that. And then I'll throw a strawberry on there. Exactly right there. Oh, that's beautiful. And then, yeah, another fun thing that I like to do with, um, like if you don't like strawberries, I know a lot of people that are like allergic to them or anything like that. Another fun thing to do with um, with vodka, if you, have you ever had the 5150 bars? Like no, the, I, I don't think, I don't think I've ever, when you say 50, that's a Van Halen album. Yes, yes, okay. no, they're, they're, um, they're like an orange candy, so you can do, this with just orange juice and with vodka, and it tastes like a creamsicle. Wow! So that's that's a fifty-one fifty. That's that's what you call insane people. It's a fifty-fifty bar. See now uh, I'm going into fifty-one fifty-ing someone. See what the pandemic does to you. I don't use my brain anymore. Fifty-fifty <laughs> bar. <laughs> okay, so uh, so a fifty. A 50-50 bar, or that the, the drink that you just made, the creamsicle, is like a screwdriver except with whipped vodka. My best friend's laughing at me right now because I just said, you know, just use 51-50 instead of 50-50 bar. So feel free we, to laugh. We should do like an entire Van Halen-based cocktail episode in the future. Yeah, there you go. And this one's really good. This is actually how I deliver the cocktails, too, just so you have a visual. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. So yeah, now, this Shana, you, ha you haven't been delivering cocktails this week. I didn't because I was a little nervous because a lot of the neighborhoods I go around are, are rioting really hard right now from uh, George Floyd and, you know, all about the protests and everything. But I just didn't want to have to drive, get stuck in that. I hear a lot of people getting stuck in the, the riots and stuff. You know? Right. And, and you with, with your car full of little mason jars full of colored liquid. Yeah. They're like, perfect. Not only do we get to stop you, we get to drink the booze, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there protesting, too. I have nothing wrong with that. I just didn't want to get caught up in it with, while trying to deliver drinks. I completely understand. And I'm, and I'm, glad, I'm glad you mentioned this, too, because it, um, it, it, puts, it puts an anchor into the time that we're living in. Yes, it definitely does. It's it's a surreal situation, everything that's happening between the quarantine and everyone's rioting. A lot in one year, huh? 2020. Yeah. And I'm, I'm glad that there's people like you around, Shana Palmer. Thanks, Marnie. I'm happy you're around. <laughs> Just pretend for a second that we're not all good buddies and you're just meeting us for the first time and you're not giving us the friends and family discount. Um, what if I belly up to your bar and order a strawberry shortcake? How much is that going to cost me? For this bad boy, $15. <laughs> California. 
I, it's, plus, plus what, what's a good tip for something like 15 bucks? Um, well, it depends how much you like me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'd say for this, probably three bucks, three dollars. Okay, 20%. All right. Well, Shana, thank you so much, and uh, can't can't wait to see you um, tending bar again because you're great at it. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thanks for having me again. All right. See you later. Whoa!